So yeah, I'm doing another video of my combine. Um, it's broken down, so got to fix it. And um, I've got another co another combine coming later today on a lorry, and I managed to find one that's got um, all the bits I need. I, obviously, I don't know until I get inside it whether it's actually going to be perfect. It probably won't be, but I'll have to do a little bit of work to get it right. This one is knackered. The gearbox, the, well, the differential in this is shot to bits. I was cutting barley, just obviously in the, this harvest, I was cutting barley. The combine's actually, to my understanding, it's 60th year, 60th harvest. Um, but it, after about three acres, it gave up on me. Couldn't get it going forward in any gear properly. It would keep on missing. Got it in reverse, managed to get it reversed up the field. And then I found I could engage gears again. Still wasn't right, you could feel it, but I managed to limp it home and get it in the shed. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of the bits that I've got to do to it. Hopefully next year, I'll have a video, another video of it working. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'll do it. But I'll just show you bits and pieces that I'm doing. That's the diff. And as you can see, it's shagged. Yeah. Um, that's the, obviously the crown wheel, ring gear, whatever they call it. But there you go. The uh, bearing cups in the cage, one of them, one of the bolts had broken and fallen into the bottom that I found. And I think that it, it had just moved enough that it would widen over the, the worm gear. Which is here. I've took the, just took that out now, actually. Um, this the uh, workshop manual that I got. I got one from America sent over, and it, it's been invaluable to me. Uh, really, just to just to get it worked out in my head. Like I have done transmissions before, but just the little tips that they give you, torque settings and all that. So yeah, I managed to clean all the swarf out of here. I managed to clean a swarf out of the axle. Um, so I'm not entirely sure exactly all the parts I'm going to use. Um, almost, well, definitely, obviously, the, the differential setup itself. But not, I might keep as many of the original parts of this combine as I can to keep it in original. And obviously just put the internal parts in, set up, so re-shimmed, so that they're back into play with each other and meeting in the right places and stuff. Because the last thing I want to be doing is taking it out again. But as you can see, the combine, I've took an opportunity while I've got the axle out to go through and do all kinds of other jobs that, that otherwise I probably wouldn't have bothered doing because it was just, it just a lot of work for a combine that doesn't really do that much work really. It probably does, I mean it might do 20 acres next year. Um, this beater needs removing and changing beyond them sprays. Um, I've took this shaft out here, which is what drives the elevator, the internal elevator. The elevator is behind, there it is, it's actually sat in there. Um, because these sprockets are very worn and I wanted to change them. There's that canvas in the background, I'm going to get another one of them made. Um, gonna do it obviously I could have done this at any time but the walker bearings I've done this one here better than it was but it's not perfect the others are very loose very worn so gonna get sandpaper and just sandpaper the edges away of them or I could get some made but I think I'll probably just persevere with the ones I've got for the minute because the amount of money I'm gonna have to spend um, this is what's called the false bottom this is the false bottom here, and as you can see, it's worn. Um, so I'm gonna get that sorted out. This is my elevator. Called, they call it a rattle, actually. And that actually goes behind the drum. Threshing happens first in the front. But, I would say the drum is actually in there, which is the, what is the elevator on most combines? But this is a gearbox as well, actually. 
I've shimmed up some of the parts in this. I've cleaned out all of the, the clutch, and put it all back together. I didn't bother fix it, changing anything because it was all right. I just re-greased the bearings and everything and put it all back together. Uh, so getting there bit by bit, um, I never imagined I'd have one apart to this extent. Um, but there you go. Um, really actually quite enjoying doing this job. Um, I've learned quite a lot. Um, yeah, I suppose you can't expect to buy a combine that's of this age and have done this much work and uh, expect it to just carry on going forever. Uh, in the end, no matter how good a machine is, in the end, parts break, parts wear out. And uh, and that's just the way it is. Um, let's see if I can show you the seat. See that? That should be flat. But that's what the rattle has done to that over the years. And I've never seen that before. And I'm, I'm, I've had a few gleaners. And I've never seen one worn out to that extent. Um, but... Let's see if I can get a shot of that bit. There you go. Lovely. So, fortunately, my friends kindly, the, f the fellow I cut for, I'm quite good friends with him, he's agreed to allow me to, to keep it in the shed. Um, and yeah, it's all working out well so far, really. Um, just, I'll just show you this. I put the elevator up there. I thought, better than it getting squashed. So yeah, um, I might show you another video of this other combine. It's, is knackered but it's cool bits so beautiful right um hope you enjoy looking at the combine i enjoy it bye